Hey, what up, fam? It's me, your boy, Gamer Who Lips, and I'm back again with an all new video. Today, we're talking about the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, a radical gaming convention that comes to Portland once a year. I'll show you some cool videos of the expo where I did do some cosplaying. Then, we'll look at some of the games I picked up, plus a special bonus feature at the end. But before we get to the video, I just wanted to announce that my channel has finally surpassed 500 subscribers. Mr. Lova Lova. I just wanted to say thank you to all those who support my channel, pushing me closer to becoming a professional content creator. Anyways, Let's check it out. I am gamer who lives. As mentioned earlier, I did cosplay at PRGE as Guile from Street Fighter. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! I literally felt like a celebrity walking around. People were lining up to take pictures with me. Even well-known YouTubers were coming by to snap a pic. It was an awesome experience, and I got to meet a lot of really cool people. Anyways, this is PRGE 
Man, what an experience! It was confirmed by many sources that PRGE is one of the largest gaming convention in the nation. And I can believe that. What stood out to me was how friendly the community was, the wide selection of games and consoles sold there, and also the gathering of some of the top gaming content creators uh, you know, under one roof was freaking awesome. I can't wait to go back next year. I ended up with nine games total, mostly retro stuff, uh, mostly for the Sega Saturn. Anyways guys, uh, here I'll show you game number one. I have it right here, and it was Aztec Adventure. Aztec Adventure is a 2D single-player action-adventure game. It was released in 1987 and developed by Sega. It was exclusive for the Sega Master System. Something unique about this game is that you can bribe enemies with money to join your party, increasing your overall firepower. What I like is while exploring you can collect weapons by destroying enemies. A variety of in-game weapons can be found such as fireballs, arrows, tornadoes, etc. Suggested games include Inca Adventure and The Legend of Zelda. Pickup number two is a rare Sega Saturn game, one that I was personally seeking out, and that is Dragon Force. Dragon Force is a 3D, real-time strategy and tactics role-playing video game. It was released in 1996 and developed by Sega. It was exclusive to the Sega Saturn. Something unique is that the player assumes the role of one of the eight rulers vying for control of Legendra. What I like is that combat plays out on a side-scrolling map with a free roaming camera. Troops can be given preset attack patterns and generals can use magic skills to affect either army. Some suggested games are Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Kessen, and Pocket Kingdom. Pickup number three is a cheap filler title for the Wii, and that is Fling Smash. Fling Smash is a 3D action video game. It was released in 2010 developed by Artoon and published by Nintendo Entertainment. It was exclusive for the Nintendo Wii. Something unique about this game. Fling Smash is most notable for being one of the first Wii games that required the use of the Wii Motion Plus accessory. What I like is that it combines the hands-on fun of tennis with the non-stop action and instant gratification of pinball. Some suggested games include Wii Play Motion, Wii Sports, and Boom Blocks. Pickup number four is a great addition to my small but growing Panasonic 3DO collection, and that is Foes of Ali. Foes of Ali is a 3D boxing video game released in 1995, developed by Grey Matter Studios and published by EA Sports. It's exclusive to the Panasonic 3DO. Something unique about this game is it was one of the first boxing games to render 3D matches using 3D graphics. Boxers in the game could be shown to move 360 degrees around the ring. What I like is that the game is based on Muhammad Ali's career and includes nine of his real-life opponents. Some suggested games include Fight Night, UFC, and Punch-Out. Pickup number five is based on a big-time Hollywood movie, and that is Independence Day. Independence Day is a 3D combat flight simulator video game. It was released in 1997 developed by Radical Entertainment and published by Fox Entertainment. It was released for the Windows, PlayStation 1, and Sega Saturn. Something unique about this game is that it was based on the 1996 Will Smith movie, Independence Day. Welcome to Earth. What I like is each plane has its own unique characteristic, as measured by speed, agility, durability, and stealth. Some suggested games include Area 51, Earth Defense Force, and Alien Trilogy. Pickup number six is when an RPG style game meets Disney, and that is Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories is a 3D action role-playing game. It was released in 2008, developed by Jupiter, and published by Square Enix. This game was released for PlayStation 2 in 2008. Something unique is that it's the sequel to the first Kingdom Heart title. What I like is that it's a combination between a role-playing video game and a collectible card game. The main role-playing aspect is the experience point system that is used to increase the character's maximum health or card points. Some suggested games include Final Fantasy, Star Ocean, and Nino Kuni. 
Pick up number seven is a retro title that I'd never even heard of before, and that is Maze Hunter. Maze Hunter is a 2D top-down action adventure game. It was released in 1987, developed by Sega. This game is exclusive to the Sega Master System. Something unique about this game is that it makes use of the 3D glasses add-on. All the sprites in the backgrounds are given their own illusion of depth, and jumping makes the character appear to move closer to the viewer. What I like is that you're armed only with the red bow staff and an occasional special item. You take down legions of randomly generated enemies while looking for a key to open the exit. Some suggested games include Aztec Adventure, Missile Defense, and Zaxxon. Pickup number 8 was a Dreamcast title that was high on the list for me, and that is Psychic Force 2012. Psychic Force is a 3D cyberpunk arcade fighting game, released in 1999, developed by Taito Corporation and published by Acclaim. This game is exclusive to the Sega Dreamcast. Something unique about this game is that the characters can use their psychic powers to fly and dash through the air. What I like is that you get to fight inside of a four-sided cube. When you use a finishing move on your opponent, you have the ability to smash them through the walls of the cube. Some suggested games include Battle Arena Toshinden, Power Stone, and Soul Calibur. The final pickup for PRGE 2019 was a clunky hack and slash player for the PlayStation 2. It was also free. Shout out to Retro Edition from Canada. It is Legion, The Legend of Excalibur. Legion, The Legend of Excalibur is a real-time strategy action role-playing video game released in 2002. It was developed by Seven Studios and published by Midway Games. This game was exclusive for the PlayStation 2. Something unique about this game is that it's the retelling of the story of King Arthur, Excalibur, and the Knights of the Round Table. What I like is that there's skill involved in the swordplay. The game encourages a rhythmic attack. Getting good at this makes your warrior a lot deadlier. Suggested games include Gauntlet, Baldur's Gate, and Dark Alliance. Alright, those are my PRGE 2019 game pickups. Now it's time for the bonus feature of this video. Today's bonus portion is an additional game haul from Rose City Comic Con, where I also cosplayed. I picked up four games while I was there, plus some posters and uh, this cool Trigun t-shirt. So let's go ahead and check out the games I picked up from Rose City Comic Con. Uh, game number one was a wacky caveman title that was released on many systems, and that is Chuck Rock. Chuck Rock is a 2D slapstick side-scrolling platform video game released in 1991. It was developed by Core Design and published by Sony ImageSoft. This game was released for a lot of systems including the Omega 32, Commodore 64, Game Boy, Game Gear, Sega CD, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, and the Super Nintendo. Something unique is that this game is notable for the belly bounce with Chuck's beer belly. What I like is that you can utilize boulders for protection or for offense. Suggested games include BC Racers, Bonk's Adventure, and Joe and Mac. Game number two is an underrated Dreamcast title, and that is Machin X. Machin X is a first-person 3D hack-and-slash video game, released in 1999, developed by Atlas. This game is exclusive for the Sega Dreamcast. Something unique is that the gameplay has the Machin, a sentient sword-like being, brainjacking or taking control of multiple characters. What I like is that the player is able to move freely within the environment and has an access to a variety of moves including a backstep and jumping to avoid attacks. Suggested games include Goldeneye, Breakdown, and Duke Nukem. Game 3 is a rad extreme sports title worth checking out, and that is Steep. Steep is a 3D extreme sports video game released in 2016, developed by Ubisoft. Systems it was released for were Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Something unique about this game, there are four main activities available in the game, including skiing, wingsuit flying, snowboarding, and paragliding. What I like is the game has a trick system, which allows players to perform special maneuvers such as spinning and grabbing while they are shredding. The player receives points if they perform tricks. Suggested games include SSX, Amped, and 1080 Snowboarding. 
The last game that I picked up from Rose City Comic Con belongs to one of the biggest Nintendo franchises, and that is The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass is a 3D action-adventure video game released in 2007, developed by Nintendo Entertainment, released exclusively for the Nintendo DS handheld game system. Something unique is that the game features 3D cel-shaded graphics with an overhead camera perspective. It employs controls involving the console's touchscreen and microphone. What I like is that it's the 14th installment in the Zelda game franchise and the direct sequel to the GameCube game, Wind Waker. Suggested games include other Zelda titles, Okami, and Spiral Knights. Alright, so those are the games that I picked up from Rose City Comic Con. But I also picked up a handful of posters that will look good in my game room. Enjoy. That's it for PRGE 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave comments down below. As always guys, thank you for tuning in, and go follow me on all my social media at GamerWhoLifts. Also a big shout out to all my subscribers. You guys helped me finally reach 500 subs. I wouldn't be here without all of your support. Anyways, thank you. See you next time.